What's going on guys, Team Mart here, and today is a very exciting day in the world of Advanced Warfare. So if you guys remember last week, there was a patch update where people on the PC side of things were able to dig into the code and they saw that there are going to be new weapons added into the game. Well today we got the official announcement of those new weapons, of all the variants, and when they're going to be coming, all the details, stuff like that. So I wanted to share this with you guys. So anyway, check out this tweet right here from Sledgehammer Games. New weapons, STG-44, Blunderbuss, and SVO available 721 for Advanced Warfare on Xbox One. So, uh, these things are going to be coming out on July 21st on Xbox, and will be coming out about a week later on PlayStation 4 and PC. Now, the catch is, they are not going to be coming out on the previous gen consoles. Xbox 360, PS3, I'm sorry, but you guys aren't gonna be getting these weapons or any of their variants just because there's not enough space on the disc. Like the, the, the hardware restrictions there on the previous gen consoles, they just, they can't do this, which is unfortunate, but uh, you know, I think it's about time to upgrade anyway. So yeah, these things are gonna be coming out on 721 and you guys can see there are three of the weapons here. We have the Blunderbuss, we have the SVO, and then we have the STG-44. So the Blunderbuss is described as a short range shotgun that packs a punch. Delivering a great amount of damage up close and a wide spread, it has a drawback of a slow reload speed between single shots. So this thing is going to be a monster up close. It's going to have a large hip fire spread and it's going to be a one shot kill if you're up close. But the deal is, it's going to have a very, very slow reload speed. So you shoot, it's going to be super powerful, but then you're going to have to reload for a really long time and then shoot again. So you're really going to have to you know, play it smart with this thing. You can't get yourself in a situation where there are multiple enemies. And if you can do that right, then it's probably going to be a pretty solid weapon. Now, uh, moving on to the SVO. This is a sniper rifle kind of modeled after the Dragonov, as you guys can see there. So this thing is described as uh, a semi-automatic sniper rifle with great accuracy and the trade-off being increased recoil. So uh, it's pretty much just like, you know, any semi-auto sniper we've seen before in Call of Duty. It's going to be kind of cool to have in. I wish we could have gotten a different bolt action, but uh, hey, that's just me. And then finally, we have the STG-44. This is described as the STG-44 known for its solid accuracy and manageable fire rate uh, works great for medium range combat situations. So if you guys don't remember the STG from Call of Duty World at War, this thing was an absolute monster and I cannot wait to, uh, to be able to use it in this game. Now, uh, one other little caveat I want to tell you guys about here is how the unlocks are going to work for these weapons. So on the 21st, when these things go live on Xbox, everybody is going to get the Blunderbuss, like the, the base version of the Blunderbuss, kind of like everybody got the M1 irons when that thing came out. The other 10 variants of the Blunderbuss, you're going to have to earn through regular and advanced supply drops. You know, that's kind of common sense there. Now, uh, as for the other two, for the SVO and the STG-44, those are not going to be automatically unlocked. You're also going to have to earn those, both the base versions and the loot versions, through regular and advanced supply drops. So you're gonna have to get lucky. Not everybody's gonna be able to get those things, which is uh, gonna make them a, a little bit more rare. And that's kind of cool. You know, that's kind of exciting. So uh, yeah, that's what's going on. It's gonna be happening on July 21st here in just about a week, which is pretty exciting. Uh, also, Sledgehammer did say at the end of their like little post here on their website, they said that this is just the first group of like new weapons they're going to be adding into the game. So it looks like if you have the next gen version of this game, or the current gen version of this game, however you want to say it, it looks like we're going to be getting a bunch of brand new weapon packs throughout the rest of the life cycle, which is kind of cool. You know, I think everybody's excited for Black Ops 3 right now. So if they're adding in new weapons relatively consistently, that's going to be able to keep things fresh uh, up until you know November when the game comes out. So anyway, yeah, there you guys have it. Three new weapons coming to Advanced Warfare. It's very exciting. Which one are you guys most excited? Excited for? Leave comments down below. The Blunderbuss, the STG44, or the SVO. I'm interested to see what you guys have to say. But anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Make sure you guys check out these two videos. Can you see yet? And I will catch you guys later. Peace out.